Good morning and welcome to this training course on the skill line, during which we will present the main characteristic of each single equipment of the line and the correct steps that must be followed after the replacement of the main electronical components. These steps are different in each equipment and the technician will create problems instead of solving problems if it does not follow them correctly. On the opposite of what done for Excite Line during this course, we will not focus our attention on the main changes of the line because at the time of the registration of this course, these machines are relatively new and when this training has been realized, the main electronic components did not go through particular changes. Before starting the course, if you have not already done so, we suggest to download and to print the PowerPoint with the presentation slides, so that you can follow the course and take notes. In this way, you have the possibility to understand and memorize better what we will present. Do not use these slides in place of the service manuals, which are always updated and related to individual products. The purpose of this presentation is to support you to understand how this line works and which are the main characteristics of each single machine. The equipment included in the line are four. Skill mill, skill row, skill run, and skill bike. Some of them created in different versions like the skill mill and the skill run and others in one unique version the skill bike and the skill row. This line was developed by Technogym together with Olympic champions for everyone who wishes to improve athletic performance by developing work capacity through the advancement of athletic skills power, speed, stamina and agility in a safe and gradual progression. This concept is what links the four equipment of the line. Each one realized with different technology to reach this main goal. I'm focusing this because, as we will see in the next slides, the kind of display and the low kit used in this four machine are totally different one with the other. I am focusing this point also because this concept is very important and impact the real job of each technician working on these machines. Let me explain. If we are thinking to our job on the Excite line, if we are replacing one display or one lock kit on the bike, recline, steps or any other machine of the line, it is the same. Load the correct software on the component installed check if all the other software in the other component are updated and do a standard setting. Easy! Same step on all the equipment of the line. As we will see soon, this basic concept must not be used in the skill line. Let's use this slide to understand the reason. The skill mill is available in three different versions, without electronic, no display and no lock kit, with a display called console without internet connectivity and with a display called connect with internet connectivity. Both the display are black and white. The skill row is available in one version, black and white, black and white display with internet connectivity. If one client would like to do a particular training like TNT training and check his performance, he has the possibility to download the skill row app on his smartphone and connect it to the display using Bluetooth connection. This solution gives us the possibility to have an easy interface but gives to the athlete the possibility to have an LCD display with added information really important for their correct workout. The skill run is available in two different versions, Unity Display and 10 inches display. The skill bike is available in one 
version only. Unity Mini Display. In the slide number 5, we focus the differences of the low kit for all the machines. Let's follow the same sequence. We said that the skill mail is available in three different versions. Each one has a different low kit. The skill mill without the display does not have any low kit, of course. The skill mill console is powered with a battery that is recharged when necessary using an external power supply, no generator on board. The skill mill connect is powered with an external power supply. Both the display, as we said, are black and white. The skill row is available in one version. The solution adopted to have a basic LCD display with the possibility to connect a smartphone permits to have a self power machine. The skill run is powered with a low kit called Halloween. Please note that the low kit is a particular low kit created for the skill run. The skill bike is powered with an external power supply. Here you can see the summary of the different kind of solution adopted. These differences is the reason because the after sales procedure are completely different. And let me repeat that it is not possible to remember everything by mind. To help the technician and make easier their job, in each technical service guide, we added one chapter where we explain which are the steps to follow after the replacement of one electronic component. Let's see the content of these chapters. Usually you can find this information in the chapter 6.1. Inside the Skill Mill Technical Service Guide, the chapter 6.1 is Procedure to follow when replacing component and it gives the correct information for each of them. RPM sensor replacement and battery replacement, no action to be taken. Angle sensor replacement or replacement of the braking system component, it is necessary to calibrate the brake. In case of replacement of low kit, it is necessary to update the firmware of the low kit and the console brake table using the upgrade USB stick updated with the PC sync. Calibrate the brake and write the serial number of the equipment using the terminal software. In case of replacement of the console, it is necessary to update the console software using the upgrade USB stick. Again, it must be synchronized with PC sync. Configure the console using the equipment setup app and replace the QR code sticker with the new QR code sticker provided with the new console. The Skiro Technical Service Guide was created before the decision to make the content of the chapter 6.1 as explained. So, in this case, you can find this information in the equipment component descriptions. If you replace the UI, the spare part contains the console and the adhesive of the QR code. The serial number of the console has been already written by the supplier. The points of calibration of the brake are memorized in the CPU main board and depends on the angle sensor board, the potentiometer, and on the assembly. Therefore, if you replace the UI console, it is necessary to replace the old adhesive QR code with the new one Write the serial number in the CPU and configure the console and calibrate the equipment. The procedure for the skill run are the same procedure used in the Excite with Unity display. When replacing the display, follow the Unity TX installation wizard that guides the user in the relative configuration. The user configuration can be copied from another equipment using the USB stick. Then enter the serial number of the equipment, update the display software to the latest version released, 
perform the standard setting procedure. And for the Unity display, remember to remove the micro SD card from the old display and insert it into the new one. When replacing the drive, upgrade the firmware using the USB upgrade stick as soon as this has been synchronized with PC Sync. Perform standard setting procedure. Particular procedure must be followed when the belt motor is replaced. Before replacing the belt motor, it is mandatory to read the following paragraph 6.1.3.1 that explain the details to be followed if the I motor or needed motor is replaced. Upgrade the TX or Unity software to the latest release version using the USB upgrade stick as soon as this has been synchronized with PC Sync. Upgrade the low kit firmware to the latest release version again using the USB upgrade stick. After all, perform standard setting procedure. In the next two slides, 10 and 11, you can find the list of operations to do when replacing components on the scale bike. Take your time to read carefully these pages. In the final test, there are questions related also to this part. We are not only asking you to use the manual for any service to avoid to forget some, but the news flash and the technical newsletter too. These documents are available on the TG Direct. In these documents, you can find some solution for particular problem. In this example, I did a research for the skill mill. In the next two pages, you have some example of the content of the technical newsletter. Please read in details these two slides as examples of the information that you can find inside this very important document. Thank you very much for your attention.